So there's more Twitter files. And so just let me, spoiler alert, you just need to read this first slide and then you can leave if you want. <laughs> but we'll show you the, the fun <laughs> details later. So Rising Serpent tweets out, so let me see if I understand this correctly. While Twitter was shutting down countless accounts under the excuse of preventing Russian propaganda, the Pentagon and Twitter were literally fronting multiple sock pocket, puppet accounts on Twitter to spread propaganda all over the world. Yes, it's like I've always said, the biggest purveyors of misinformation is first the government, then the corporate media. What do you think Twitter is? It's corporate media. Well, it's not bad when we do it. <laughs> right? <laughs> the biggest the, it, the spreaders of misinformation and disinformation and lies, the government and corporate media. We need a unipolar misinformation and, world. <laughs> and so that's why it's hilarious to think that there's going to be some corporate media, by the way, uh, an opaque corporate media. Nobody knows what they're doing, who they are in the dark of night censoring. Yeah, right. Well, I mean, that's usually the smart idea, right? To, oh, wait, wait, I'll wait to get to the further. So Lee Fang tweeted these out. So I guess he had the access from Musk on this. He says how Twitter quietly aided the Pentagon's covert online PSYOP campaign. So now you got Twitter doing PSYOPs for the military, but I can't make a joke about the election. And by the way, they were real noticeable PSYOPs. They weren't <laughs> like, it wasn't like, oh, I wonder. <laughs> Despite promises to shut down covert state-run propaganda networks, Twitter docs show that the social media giant directly assisted the United States military influence operation. So Twitter was out there, Twitter themselves was out there helping spread misinformation, disinformation, propaganda, and stuff to influence elections. Twitter has claimed for years that they make concerted efforts to detect and thwart government-backed platform manipulation. Turns out they don't. Turns out they work with the government to manipulate the platform. Here is Twitter testifying to Congress about its pledge to rapidly identify and shut down all state-backed covert information operations and deceptive propaganda. But they lied. But behind the scenes, Twitter gave approval and special protection to the United States military online psychological influence ops. Despite knowledge that Pentagon propaganda accounts use covert identities, Twitter did not suspend many for around two years. <laughs> and a lot of some of them are still active. Wow. Who are those brave men and women telling me that I I've lost it? Yeah, <laughs> used to have that's what they, that's what they do. They swing by our go, boy. Now you've really lost it. That's wow. what those are. Did you have basic training to come up with that? So if I tell the truth about Ukraine or Russia or Syria or whatever, there'll be some government bots to come by my Twitter feed and say, boy, you've really lost it. Well, I hope they're at least made in America bots and not in Ukraine. In 2017, U.S. Central Command off officials sent Twitter a list of 52 Arab language accounts we use to amplify certain messages. The official asked for priority service for six accounts, verification for one, and whitelist abilities for others. So this is the military Look at doing 52 fake accounts, and they want Twitter to boost <laughs> them. Ideally, we could have them verified and whitelisted if there is such a thing question mark <laughs> can you make a white that's amazing the same day centcom sent the list twitter officials used to a tool to grant a special whitelist tag that essentially provides verification status to accounts without blue checks, meaning they are exempt from spam abuse flags, more visible, likely to trend on hash. I knew all of this. You can so see like, it. When you see these pieces of shit who yawn and their tweet gets 20,000 likes and you're like, wait a minute. Yeah. I've never come close to that. Well, I don't, I mean, I never think about my own because I don't tweet a lot, but it's, I do. it's always stuff where I'm like, I don't believe this many people think this is good. That's right. I just don't. The SEMCON accounts on the list tweeted frequently about U.S. military priorities in the Middle East, including promoting anti-Iran messages, promotion of the Saudi Arab Arabia's U.S.-backed war in Yemen, and accurate U.S. drone strikes that claim to hit only terrorists. <laughs> CENTCOM then shifted strategies and deleted discourse 
disclosures of ties to the Twitter accounts, the bios of the accounts change to seemingly organic profiles. One bio read Euphrates Pulse. Another used an apparent deep fake profile pic claimed to be the source of Iraqi de- opinion. So this is they're just they're just documenting to you how the government just totally uses Twitter as a fake bullshit propaganda machine, and Twitter helps them. So you're going to use an Iraqi Twitter account to tell Iraqis that they're not being blown up innocently by drones? That's how it works. I'm sure they'll believe it because uh, it's on Twitter. One Twitter official who spoke to me said he feels deceived by the covert shift. Still, many emails from throughout 2020 show that high-level Twitter executives were all well aware of the Department of Defense's vast network of fake accounts and covert propaganda and did not suspend the accounts. For example, Twitter lawyer Jim Baker mused in a 2020 email about an upcoming Department of Defense meeting that the Pentagon used poor tradecraft in setting up its network and were seeking strategies for not exposing the accounts that are linked to each other or the Department of Defense or the USG, What's U.S. government. Tradecraft? Uh, Spycraft? But he's calling it tradecraft? I'm going to guess, yeah. Stacia Cardill, another Twitter attorney, replied that the Pentagon wanted an SCIF and may want to retroactively classify its social media activities to obfuscate their activity in this way. So they're just lying. They're just doing exactly what spies do. So that's what this all is. That's what this all is. Hey, could you do this and cover it up for us in case it's embarrassing, which it is? (laughs) That's what this is. Many of these secretive U.S. military propaganda accounts, despite detection by Twitter as of late 2020, continued tweeting through this year, some not suspended until May of 2022. According to records I reviewed, in August of 2022, Stanford Internet Observatory report exposed a U.S. military covert propaganda network on Facebook, Telegram, Twitter, and other apps using fake news portals and deep fake images and memes against U.S. foreign average. Of course they're the one doing the deep fakes. Of course it's the government. The United States propaganda network relentlessly pushed narratives against Russia, China, and other foreign countries. They accused Iran of threatening Iraq's water security and flooding the country with crystal meth and of harvesting organs of Afghan refugees. The Stanford report did not identify all the accounts in the network, but one they did name was the exact same Twitter account CENTCOM asked for whitelist privileges in its 2017 email. I verified via Twitter's internal tools. The account used an AI and that's artificial intelligence create a deep fake image. So that's not a real person. Yeah, wow. That's not a real person. They created that image with an artificial intelligence. And uh, so it says the profile picture used by the Facebook page Discoverer and two other assets in the Middle East group. So there's three different accounts using this profile pic. Well, I'm sure they don't do that here in this country. (laughs) Issues with the left ear and the central alignment of the eye suggest it was generated using artificial... So the left ear, see how fucked up it is? And his eyes, they look normal to me. Yeah. But they say... I trusted that guy. The central... (laughs) Me too, the central alignment. (laughs) In subsequent reporting, Twitter was cast as an unbiased hero for removing a network of... So again, it's just... If this is the government 100% doing this. You, I, you, can, you can go to his Twitter feed and read all these. Uh, by the way, Twitter's co- com- communications team, this is good, was closely in touch with reporters working to minimize Twitter's role. When the Washington Post reported on the scandal, Twitter officials congratulated each other because the story didn't mention any Twitter employees focused largely on the Pentagon. Wow. They all, what's the word? Collude? Collude. The conduct of the U.S. military's covert network stands in stark contrast with how Twitter has boasted about rapidly identifying and taking down covert accounts tied to state-backed influence operations, including Thailand, Russia, Venezuela. So Twitter's been saying they they go after government propaganda accounts, but in reality, they're propping them up. They're working with them. There is no difference between the government and Twitter when it comes to these things. The, and as the People's Party tweeted out, the Twitter files prove that the United States military and the intelligence agencies are manipulating social media and running psychological operations 
on Americans. Hey, the Smith Munt Modernization Act. That's coming right. Home. So they got rid of that law that said that the government can't propagandize against our their own people. I mean, the Americans. Now they do. Oh, by the way, even when it was against the law, they also were. They doing also that. did it anyway. <laughs> they just had to have another department within the department. So I hope everybody gets it that you can't trust Twitter, you can't trust Facebook, Instagram, you can't trust corporate America, MSNBC, CNN, Fox. You can't trust the Washington Post and New York Times, and you certainly can't trust Twitter or politicians. Hey, we're doing live stand-up comedy in Los Angeles, December 9th, 16th, 23rd, and 30th. And we're going to be in Tempe, Milwaukee, Minneapolis, Nashville. Go to jimmydoor.com for a link for all those tickets. See you there.